And the New York State Legislature is on track now to close out its session with a slew of new bills. The session technically did end yesterday, but as we hear from Channel 2's Rob Hackford tonight, debate and voting is very much underway, right Rob? Yes, yeah, Scott, these 11th hour efforts are pretty familiar to the state legislature. We hear about them yearly, but bills get passed rapid fire before summer session and those legislators head home. This is a live look now inside the state assembly, which is in the just in the past hour passed the Clean Slate Act by a narrow margin of 83 to 64. That was a big ticket item. The Senate is expected to discuss that bill tonight and could very well vote on it too. The clean slate legislation would automatically seal most misdemeanor convictions three years after a person has served prison time or parole and eight years for most felony convictions it has been the subject of a lot of debate with concern and support found on both sides of the aisle. I believe that this legislation is setting transparency back. Who will no longer know uh, about the backgrounds of the people in their own community? For 2.2 million people to be able to have access to decarceration efforts to turn and change the lives of themselves, their families, and their communities around. Also, also worth noting, the gaming compact with the Seneca Nation has passed the state Senate and will now head to the Assembly for discussion. Several bills that will now head to the governor's desk include uh, that were passed by both houses include the Grieving Families Act, which last year was vetoed by the governor, but has implications for the victims of the Topps mass shooting. Also, there's a bill that would align local elections to even years. And last night, the legislature also approved a plan to study reparations for those impacted by slavery. Well, the governor and state legislative leaders have hoped to overhaul the state's housing plan as well, just like during budget discussions. The three parties could not reach a deal. There's no doubt that discussion. However, Scott will continue next session. In the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.